Okay, Shalom, Shalom, Kwam Yasha'ala, Koholoimla, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakaha Kodash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well, and that by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth. Just want to say the water to all the Akim and Nakwaf that's out here sincerely keeping the laws, the statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai to the best of their ability. This is Yahweh Nawaf just coming at you with another quick lesson. Praying that it's edifying by the Spirit. And wanted to touch on this article. I mean, we've done a few on them, but you know, this is um, Crafty Council, man, from um, Esau Edom, which is the biblical name for the so called white man. And this man is the wicked that the Bible speaks of. And this right here is clear proof. And, and see, they, they do it so craftily. And so, this is, this is how you know um, this man is a damn snake, man. It says video Dwayne Wade's transgender daughter. Zaya Wade exposed to hateful comments after throwing first pitch at Chicago Cubs game. What the fuck are you throwing the first pitch for anyway? What do you have to do with anything? I mean, I mean, like, let's be real here. What do you have to do with, with anything that you should be making the first pitch at a, at a Cubs game? I know um, Dwayne Wade is from there, but. Why is it that you have to be on, on, on front page throwing the first pitch out? That shit, that's crafty counsel, bro. We know why he's doing this. We know why he's out there throwing the first pitch. Why? Because they want to put this, they want to make the so-called blacks, mainly the tribe of Judah, the mascot of their wickedness, man. Through one of our young men, it, it's not enough that they have got RuPaul in them. You know what I'm saying? You got a whole goddamn drag show. You got all these different things. They won't even put a grown-up grown-up, you know, out there. They use one of our young men, which his name was Zion, then changed it to Zaya. That's all crafty counsel, bro. That, that shit is orchestrated. You can't tell me it's not. <laughs> you can't tell me it's not. Let, let me get this, though, real quick. This is... um. Psalms 83 and 3. It says, They have taken crafty counsel against thy people and consulted against thy hidden ones. The hidden ones are the Israelites, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Why are they, why is this 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 hardcore push on you to promote this? Why do they have our people in these commercials? HIV commercials, pizza commercial, uh uh, uh just you know, whatever kind of, you know. Got our men in, in commercials kissing each other, holding hands, wearing purses, wearing dresses. Why do they use our people to promote this shit? First off, they know Jake is, um, you know, the salt of the earth. We're, we're, we're the influencers of the planet. So Esau know those things, man. But in the backdrop, he's the one that's really into this shit. And see, a lot of our people are going to get destroyed, man. I mean, you know, the Lord gave them over to a reprobate mind, though. But I, I got to really, you know, this got to be um, a fallback on, on, on Dwayne, man. Because they was cutting all off into him in the article, too. I don't even want to read uh, none of the comments, you know, that these people, they they, they cut me, man. They, they clowning. We talk about, uh, uh, you know, fifth grade caps, man. You know what I'm saying? Mama jokes. You know what I'm saying? Like, they cut me. So I don't, I'm not going to go all off into that because, you know, I know it's a sensitive, sensitive subject. And, 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 and you know, well, yeah, man, they, they definitely, um, yeah, they, they cutting all into Dwayne Wade, man. They cutting into um, his son here. And but what do you what do you expect is going to happen? Well, I mean, did you really think that everybody is just going to just chill? You know what I'm saying? Like, you, you, you know, you, you know, people talk shit about everything anyway. But my thing is, why even put your child in this position? You already got him, you know, messed up. But you, you, you let him go out and throw a goddamn first pitch. What you throwing? What are you? What are you doing? What? What? What are you doing? <laughs> like, come on, bro. <laughs> I mean, you know, I, I, it's so much to say, but I, I can't say. You know what I'm saying? But man, this shit is retarded. This is crazy, bro. I'm not going to even go and even try and watch the damn first pitch. You know, did you really throw it like a, like, you know, like, like a boy or did you throw it like a girl? 
You know, but what are you doing there? Like, what, what would be the purpose of you throwing the first pitch at a fucking professional baseball game? Like, what's the purpose for that? Come on, bro. Anyway, I'm not going to keep this long, man. But, hey, Esau, man, y'all going to pay, man, for the shit that y'all have done to us as a people. And they've worn out the saints, man. The scriptures talked about how they worn out the saints, man. We're worn down in this place. We are worn down to, to what you're talking about walking over a nigga back, bro. They don't they don't walked on us for so long. It's retarded, man. We we have absolutely no power or might in our hands in this place, man. Because when you speak out on stuff like this. You can be canceled. Motherfuckers lose jobs, you know, careers. It's crazy, man. Anyway, let's get um second um Corinthians 2 and 11. And I'm not going to keep this long. I just seen this like, golly, bro. Why would you set your child up for that? Why would you set your son up for that? And I'm thinking, you know, that's got to be, okay, well, we're going to need you to do something. We're, we're not, matter of fact, let me read this. Let's Satan... 2 Corinthians 2 and 11, let Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. And the NLT, it says, so that Satan will not outsmart us, for we are familiar with his evil schemes. And you have to be in the spirit, man, to know how this man gets down and actually be into these scriptures. The Holy Spirit dealing with you, man, while you're reading these scriptures. So you can, you can, yep, that's Satan. Yep, that's Satan. Yep, that dude got spirits on him. Yep. Yep, you, you you can see it because the average person, you know, you got people running around out here like it's just, uh, well, that's their life. It's not bothering me. And they don't think about us as a nation of people. See, we're a nation of people, man. We're one. We're, we're a body. You see, as a nation. And yet how it shy is the head of, of that body, you know, so to speak. I mean, you know, we understand that two thirds. You know, of, of, of our people got to get that business. You know, they're going to be destroyed. We understand that. I'm just talking about as a nation of people, we're supposed to be on top of stuff like this, rebuking and, and reproving our people for bullshit, man. So whatever Dwayne Wade got out of it, Gabrielle Union got out of it. They really thrown that boy to the wolves, man. They thrown that boy to the wolves, man. Cause I can remember when the shit first went down, like how you, I think, I think this, they was talking about this shit when he was like 10 or something. Uh, he, he, he feels as if he's a, come on, bro. We are, hey, we, we understand the workings of Babylon the Great, so to speak. That's why, you know, you should be, um, you know, uh, uh, thankful to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh that he has brought you out of uh, uh, this world, so to speak, man, out of, out of Esau's uh, way of life or his way of thinking. Because this guy is going to get a lot of people destroyed. He's going to be destroyed. But he's only doing what he's supposed to do, though. He's really just the wicked and he's really doing the wickedness that he was designed to do. So. Boy, I tell you, man, I just seen this was like, well, goddamn, you know what I'm saying? The only reason why I can see them doing this is this crafty council to push the bullshit on our people or make our people the mascot of their bullshit. And that's pretty much overall. That's that's what's going on here, man. Can't get around that. There's no way that this guy should have been out here. No goddamn first pitch, bro. For what? Who Who, who, who done that? Who chose that? Who at the top, matter of fact, uh, let's see, maybe we can find something. Okay, so let's see here. We in the Wikipedia. I just put in, you know, who who decides on who, who makes that, that ceremonial pitch, right? It says the ceremonial first pitch is a longstanding ritual of baseball in which a guest of honor throws a ball to mark the end of a pregame festivities and the start of a game. Originally, the guest threw a ball from their seat in the grandstand to the pitcher or catcher of the home team. But the ritual changed after the United States president, Ronald Reagan, threw the first pitch on the field at an unscheduled appearance in Baltimore Orioles game. Now the guest stands 
on and in front of the pitcher's mound and throws towards home plate. The ceremonial thrower sometimes stand on the mound, the recipient, the pitch, usually the player at the home team. Uh, let's see here. Yeah. Doofy as hell. The ceremonial thrower may be notable person, uh, dignitary, celebrity, former player, etc., who is in attendance and executive from a company that sponsors the team, especially when the company has sponsored the night's promotional giveaway or a person who won the first pitch opportunity in a contest prize. OK, well. I'm assuming it, 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 he couldn't have been there for, as a dignitary, right? He's not a damn former player. So I'm assuming that they just saying celebrity. And the only reason why you know about this guy is because of Dwayne Wade and them putting him putting him out there like that. You wouldn't know this dude, man. You don't even know the, the, the other sons. You don't even hear nothing about them. The little daughter they got, you don't hear nothing about none of them. So off the name of Dwayne Wade, that's the reason why he's there. But still, it just don't make no goddamn sense. <laughs> why would you, you know what I'm saying? What, 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 what's the what's the purpose other than them promoting? They're, they're actually, see, this is, a, these, a, a, see, to you so-called Negroes that's about to go out here and vote for Kamala, this is the kind of shit right here that she wants your, your, your people to look like. She either don't want you to have no babies, or if you do have some babies, they turn out like this. That's what she's she she she's gonna do, or at least that's what the whole um, Biden campaign done since he's been there. Obama done it when he was there. Matter of fact, you had Michelle Obama sitting down in an interview with this with this young man, you know, promoting and and and, and basically telling him how much of a fucking hero he is for doing what he's doing. Like, I mean, come on, bro. <laughs> Man, this shit is retarded, bro. Hey, but this is where this is the world we're in. Let me see here. Cause I'm curious as to seeing how this. How, how did you pitch the ball? You got to put in Zaya Wade first pitch. See, any idea even go that far with it? Man, they need to cut it out, bro. Look at this, bro. This is bad. Come on. That is fucking crazy, bro. Like, why? Why, bro? Ooh, crazy. I am staying out of this one. Fucking crazy, bro. And you know it's gonna come to a point where you know it's people off in there that was talking, you know, talking shit or wanted to boo. But you already know they they asked that got escorted right out of the game. So they're 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 they're, they're you know pretty much they're really forcing we can see where this is going. Like, it, 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 and a lot of these people are going to be the same ones that's going to line up to take that goddamn chip. They're going to line up and they're going to take that damn um that implant, man. They've already got it to a point of shut the fuck up, don't say nothing. If you want to deal with, it, you want to be in this society, and within our you know um entertainment, and you know motherfuckers all, all they want is entertainment. You want to be able to come out into our functions. You want to function amongst us. You want to function amongst the 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 pretty much the just to just be a citizen. You shut the fuck up and you take what we're dishing at you. That's it. <laughs> Cause this is crazy, bro. But we but we know why they done that, man. We know why they done that. And that's crazy as hell, man. Dwayne, he's sitting up in there and sitting up there looking stupid as hell along with that 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 demon he with.
Why Dwayne ain't come out there? Why, why the fuck you ain't come out there and throw the first pitch? Why Gabrielle Union didn't throw the first pitch? Y'all more celebrities than him. Crafty counsel, bro. That's why. They wanted to really put this guy out there and use him as the mascot for their wickedness, man. That's all, that's pretty much overall all that it was, man. So I'm going to end out <laughs> end out there, man. I Got to keep it classy, man. You know what I said? But when I tell you, man, they cutting, they cutting on these comments, man. <laughs> they, cut, they cutting on these comments. They go hard. I will read this part. Dwayne says she's the strong one in this family. She's a hero. Oh, she's stronger than you? Obviously. <laughs> Come on, bro. He says it's our family's job to make sure that we listen to her. We listen to the doctors. The who? <laughs> the doctors. <laughs> we ask questions <laughs> and we... <laughs> formulate our own ideas of how Zaya should be and should be raised in this world. We don't allow others to do that for us. Well, obviously you are because that's the reason why y'all doing that shit. This world. Nah, man, the scripture says to come out of this world. Matter of fact, let me get one more. This is why, you know, we, we, we go up into this scripture right here to let our people know, hey, look, you got to come completely out of this fucking place mentally, spiritually, man, because it will destroy your ass. That money, you know, especially that money, Jake, Jake, man, I do any goddamn thing for that money. Micah 2 and 10, arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest, because it is polluted. It shall destroy you even with the sword destruction. This is not our rest, man. You got to come out of this place I mean, for real, for real. This right here is flood behavior. That's why the scripture says, um, you know, just like the days of Lot, just like the days of Noah. We're living in, 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 in flood type um, times, man. Where it's not going to be that long before the Lord destroys this place, man. That's why is it's, 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 you have to repent. Let's get that. Um, Romans 13 and 11. It says in that knowing the time that now it is high time to awake out of sleep for now is our salvation nearer than when we believe it's now because it's so wicked out here the night is far spent the day is at hand let us therefore cast off the works of darkness and let us put on the armor of light see and if Dwayne Wade Gabrielle Union and the rest of his family all them goddamn kids all of them gonna be destroyed man if they don't repent all of them going to be destroyed. You're living in flood behavior type times, man. It's all manner of wickedness going on here. See? As a matter of fact. And people just, just, just shutting the fuck up, too. They just like, fuck it. I ain't saying nothing. I'm done with it, man. It's, it's over with. It's nothing we can do. Proverbs 17 and 15, it says, He that justifieth the wicked and he that condemneth the just, even they both are an abomination to the Lord. Right? Because you got people that's out here, they'll, they'll, you know, they justify that shit. And then the people that's saying, well, nah, man, that's not right. They, 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 they condemning you for saying what, what the Lord said. So it says, he that justifieth the wicked and he that condemneth the just, even they both are an abomination to the Lord, man. So you got a lot of abominable people that's walking around you, man. Like for real, for real. Cause this, this shit don't, <laughs> just don't make no sense, bro. Let's get some of the comments. I ain't even going to the comments. I know people, cause see you, you when you go into these comments, people not with this. People not with this. It's just that you already know people that was at that game. They was like, oh, don't even don't even say nothing. Don't even say nothing. Don't don't boo. Don't because they're going to escort your ass out of here. Trust me. You're getting escorted out of these these places when they do stuff like that. If you go, if you got anything to say against it. This person says people say everyone should live their lives as they see fit. 
This also includes people that don't believe in this nonsense. Oh, wait, that isn't allowed. Yep, true. This person replies, fine, don't believe in it. In it in silence. No one has the right to harass someone else just for living. See? Somebody responds to that person's response. Exactly. So they need to quit harassing everybody about the choices and be who they are in silence as well. Yep. That, hey, there you go. And somebody responds to him. This person didn't harass anyone. They were just exiting. If by this person's exiting, you feel harassed, then that's a problem you have to figure out. Yeah, right. Here you go. Here's here's one right here. I have nothing against anyone who is transgendered. But that's a decision that should be made once a child is 18. See, they, so they justifying this shit. Right. They just trying to be uh, uh, as if they're righteous about it. Nah, this is wickedness still. I don't agree with doing the surgery while they're still under age. Children and teens. Come on, bro. Anyway, hey, but this is the, hey, this is what you got going on out here. Says Wade made this public. We'll deal with it publicly just because you some way that does not mean that society has agreed with you. Well, yeah, they, they got a point there. You made the shit public. You got this motherfucker out here. You out here doing throwing the first pitch and you don't think people going to say nothing. The hell out of here, man. These people are crazy, bro. See, here you go. Check this one out. This is your typical Christian right here, too. I don't believe in this at all, but God is love. Just pray for him and keep hate out of it. My heart still goes out to his mother and to the child, too. It's a sad situation. But God is love. Man, look, the Lord is going to destroy anybody that's dealing like this, man. Matter of fact, so you Christians with that God is love shit. That's the reason why a lot of these people running around out here doing a lot of this silliness, man. Because y'all done taught that idolatrous white Jesus loves every goddamn thing. Let's see, Book of Romans. We see them Romans. Let's go. Let's get Romans one. Matter of fact. I'm, I'm, yeah, let's just read through this. Let's see here. I'm going to start at verse 25. I'm going to read it in the NLT, New Living Translation. And it reads, they, they traded the truth about Yahweh for a lie. And that God is love shit. That's a lie. So they worship and serve the things God created instead of the creator himself, who is worthy of, eter of eternal praise. Amen. That is why God abandoned them to their shameful desires. Even the women turned against the natural way to have sex and instead indulge in sex with each other. And the men, instead of having normal sexual relations with women, burn with the, burn with lust for each other. Men did shameful things with other men. And as a result of this sin, they suffered within themselves the penalty they, they deserve. Verse 28. Since they thought it foolish to acknowledge God, he abandoned them to their foolish thinking and let them do things that should never be done. So the Lord got them, hey, got them with that, re that reprobate mind, man. Their lives became full of every kind of wickedness, sin, greed, hate, envy, murder, quarreling, deception, malicious behavior, and gossip. They are backstabbers, haters of God, insolent, proud, and boastful. They invent new ways of sinning and they disobey their parents. They refuse to understand break their promises are heartless and have no mercy they know Yahweh's justice requires that those who do these things deserve to die yet they do them anyway worse yet they encourage others to do them too right so it, 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 the lord is not not dealing with this man these these people are going to be destroyed bro that god is love god is love Come on, bro. Let's get um this one, too. Psalms 5 and 5. The foolish shall not stand in his in thy sight. Thou hatest all workers of iniquity. So where's the love in that? The Lord clearly saying right there, thou hatest all workers of iniquity. Who's the worker? It's the person. 
What is the iniquity? That sin upon sin upon sin. And the Lord hates it. Right? He hates the workers of iniquity. So white Jesus Christianity is really like the, um, I, I got to say this is, it's the damn near the source of why people running around out here like that, man. Because the Christian church is telling these people that they're already saved. They're saved by grace. I just was watching a video yesterday when, um, I think it was um, the elder uh, out in Vegas. And he had a little clip of a, um, some of these people running up on um, IUIC. And he's standing there, I, I believe in God, you know what I'm saying? But I ain't going to change my ways. And, you know, just, boy, when I tell you, just boy. Boy, boy, boy. Because they believe that if you believe in white Jesus, all you got to do is just, you know, repent. Every day, all oh, you know, my, come on, bro. No, no, the Lord is not dealing with that, bro. The Lord is not dealing with that. The Lord is going to destroy anybody that's, that's dealing like that, man. You can forget about it. What you think that's going to be going on in the kingdom? Are you crazy? <laughs> I mean, it, it, it's a sin that you can repent from, but if you don't repent from it, you're going to be destroyed. Just uh, come on, bro. You have to repent from that shit and turn from it. It don't necessarily mean, OK, you got to, um, you know, go out here and get you a woman or a woman. Go out here and get you a man. That's not, you know, that's not what we're talking about there, but you got to turn from that lifestyle and not do that shit no more. Because there's plenty of men and women that's running around out here single. That don't mean that, OK, now all of a sudden, you know, you 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 was a dude that was into that and you didn't you, you didn't turn from it. You got to go and get you one of these black women. <laughs> you know, but man, it's it, it's out of hand, man. This shit is out of control, bro. But and and, and you got to know that this is end time prophecy, man. We're in the end days. You, you, it's too wicked. How much longer can some shit like this go on, man? This dude is turning the children into. Look at all the man. Anyway, I'm just gonna end out. I don't even want to. Let me just end out, man, because like I said, again, it's, it's a touchy subject. Oh, yeah, somebody got, uh, oh, dang, that's, hey, that's the spirit. That's the same scripture I just, I just read. This person, Larry Jones, said, you, you people need to stop misleading people with this God. It's just love crap because God hates people that love sin. Psalms 5 and 5, the foolish shall not stand in thy sight. Thou hatest all workers of iniquity. That's the spirit. I didn't even see that. Con, that's what's up. <laughs> this person says, why do you keep shoving this horse shit down our throats? Enough. Exactly why we don't want them marching in Staten Island at St. Patrick's Day Parade. Leave us the fuck alone already. <laughs> People losing it, bro. Man, this person says, I'm sure they anticipated this happening. When you choose to put yours on display for the world, you have to be prepared for the criticism. It is what it is. The bad comes with the good. My thing is the crafty counsel of it, man. The, the only reason why they done that was to, to, to uh, because Esau Edom, the so-called white man, wants to make you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans the, the, um, the, the poster boy, the mascot for their wickedness. And it's also to keep you in sin. It's also to keep you in sin, man. It, this this is a sin that's worthy of death. This is the shit that this man wants you to die. And see, the Lord is merciful, but man, the Lord not playing no games, man. We're seeing all kinds of stories. This news is flooded on a day-to-day -day basis of people getting to business. These people that's that's living like this, him. I'm gonna again. I'm gonna keep it classy. <laughs> they getting to the business, man. The Lord is judging, man. So, hey, I'm going to end out there, man. I pray that this lesson was edifying. With that, Kwame Yashala, the Baba Ball, man. We need out of here.